Hi again everyone. This is a requested video on Thick Tail Gecko Care. I've had someone been asking me for a while and I've been really slack so I'm very sorry but here it is. Uh, I keep all of my Thick Tail Geckos in these System A containers. And it's, they're really, really awesome containers and <coughs> they're easy to care for in these. So what I've done is I've used a soldering iron to perforate the, the sides and to allow a bit of ventilation through. This is done on both sides of the enclosure to allow the air to flow through. Uh, geckos don't like being held very much so and they're actually rather secretive during the day and come out and are active during night so you should always have a hide in there. Um, preferably two hides, one on the hot end and one on the cool end but I've only got one hide in here for her at the moment and she's also got cover over here in this artificial plant which she if she can use as a hide because she actually does sort of dig uh, beneath it and between it. So you've got a cool hide on one end and a hot um, hide on the other end. This side of the container goes directly above a heat cord, which is just up here. The heat cord has been taped down with um, cloth tape, or you can use insulation tape. And make sure you always connect it to a thermostat and I've got it set there at about between 26 and 30 degrees this is what I've got these guys at the moment uh, because I'm beginning to warm them back up now to start breeding the substrate I use is red desert sand and these things are amazing uh, these are pooper scoopers so if they've done a poop you just sift it in and you're left with just the poo and just dispose of it they're just so easy and get them from most reptile shops. Oh, what else can I tell you? Um, they're insectivores, so strictly crickets, wood roaches. Um, some people use mealworms. I don't with these guys. I've heard too many horror stories of mealworms eating through geckos stomachs, so I tend to stay away from them. So pretty much just woodies and crickets. For these guys I use about medium size. This is a female in here that we're looking at at the moment. Uh, she'll be having the male introduced into her enclosure to stay with her shortly to begin breeding. So I feed these guys probably every three days. I drop in about three or four woodies or crickets each. And these are also dusted with calcium and vitamin powder just so they can get the extra um, supplements that they need that they might not be getting from being kept in captivity for a lack of variety of food. Also, um, once every three days or once a week when I'm feeding them I will lightly spray the enclosure so I've got my mister here so I'll just lightly spray and that's it because they don't actually have water bowls they don't usually drink from containers so they'll actually lick off the side look at this you've got the perfect outline of where she was they don't actually yeah see how she's licking from the sides now that's where they get their moisture from and they also absorb the moisture through their through their skin so that's about all I can tell you about these guys unless anyone has any questions and wants to message me asking but these system A containers you can usually get from Woolworths or Coles your local supermarket Big W Kmart um, it's the bigger sized one I'm not sure how many what the litre capacity is. I'm just having a look on the bottom of another one while she runs away. <laughs> oh, she's trying to make a run for it. Let me get her. Oh, sorry, sweetheart. <clears throat> she thinks she's found an out now, so <clears throat> I'll put her lid back on her. And as you can see, I've also got um, holes in these ones as well and the lids to allow for proper ventilation so what I was doing was trying to look at how many litres these containers are and I can't quite see because it's dark 7 litres, there we go there's the 7 litre system A containers so to put it away just give me a second So she fits nicely onto here. 
I've put, so she's got one half, well only really a quarter of the heat cord there to heat her up. And I might actually put some food in now. I'm not sure if she's going to eat in front of the camera. Because sometimes they wait until I've gone. But just to show you the sort of size of the crickets and such. I haven't dusted these with calcium either, so make sure you do. I mean, it's okay not to dust them every single time either. She's not interested in eating while we're watching her. So I usually pop about three in at a time. And because I've got other reptiles to tend to, what I usually do is, that's it, put the lid back on and put them back. And by the time I check on them again, in another two days, the crickets are gone and they've got poos in there for me instead. So as soon as I leave here and turn the lights off, she's going to start to hunt. She's licking her lips now. Well, I hope this was informative, and I'm sorry it took so long for me to do. But any questions, please feel free to ask. Happy to answer anything.